Hey, how you doing guys? This is Little Powerhouse 102. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing all right. Yeah, guys, um, I want to talk a little bit about, um, well, you know, about toys and Origins and Masterverse and um, whatever it is we're collecting right now. Um, well, as you can see here, uh, this is what I'm collecting right now at the moment. As you can see, we have some Origins, we have um, Masterverse. And we have some McFarland figures in there mixed in the mixed in there with the masters. Um, well, this weekend I went to uh, California and um, I have two friends there that are that are collectors also. And um, but they don't do they don't do really any videos. They just like to collect and 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 um, look at we look at all kinds of videos when we're over there and uh, we check out the toys from other uh, collectors. And um, we were talking about the uh, the Eternia playset. Well, I don't really want to get into the Eternia playset right now, um, but I do want to give out some a uh, little little bit of our point of view. Uh, we did a little bit of research on the uh, Eternia playset, and um, <clears throat> we came to a somewhat of a conclusion. <laughs> our conclusion anyway and um looks like in uh, 1986 1987 when uh, the vintage line was almost over um they came up with this playset the the eternia playset and um it looks like that uh they only did like 4000 pieces on this playset so this playset wasn't meant for everybody <laughs> Kind of weird, right? And um, some something that's kind of going on right now with this playset too. Well, our research um, that we uh, that we heard from another YouTuber was that they made this playset so they they see if uh, they wanted to see if they could do more sales. Uh, they were putting this playset on the end of the aisles or the beginning of the, of the aisles. So when um, us kids from the 80s, we would uh, look at this huge playset, it would draw us to this aisle. And we would want to see more, see what's going on in this aisle. Because beautiful playset, huge. We wanted it if we saw it. <laughs> and um, as you know, and this happened a lot Probably it happened to me a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I will take my parents out and I will tell them I want this, I want that. And at the end of the day, it was like, just get a figure if you want. <laughs> and uh, that was it. And the fortunate kids that had parents that had, you know, some kind of significant money or money that they could, you know, spend on this uh, playset. Because a lot of parents were saying, I'm not going to spend that much money on that playset. Get a figure if you want, whatever, you know. And we would walk out with a with an action figure. <laughs> and um, today, I mean, now that we got the opportunity again to get this uh, playset, um, like I said, it wasn't for everybody. Some, like I said, we already heard all kinds of opinions, comments, and we know what's going on. But um, right now we're living in... Uh, really chaotic times guys that supplies rocketed are sky high i mean labor sky high import everything is so sky high to ship anything is just go everything is just sky high guys for anything right now it's just ridiculous and sometimes it seems very unfair for for a lot of people i mean even for the people that are paying but like i said if it really is what uh if how bad you wanted that uh place it for your collection i i, I guess you know but um i guess even right now this place set wasn't for everybody everybody either so you know that's that was our conclusion i mean they knew it I mean, even even if it went in retail, they if, if they did one hundred fifty thousand pieces, this place it would probably wouldn't wouldn't sell. It would go probably on sale, and they would lose a lot of money. That that was the uh, I think that was the uh, 
the reason and it's a huge box and a lot of these stores don't have the room to place them in those aisles and, or they don't want to so uh that was our conclusion on on the uh, turn to play set and um and that is that guys so th what's gonna be the aftermath of this eternia play set <laughs> um well on my take i don't know about you guys what you guys think i mean our action figures have gone up little by little guys our origins if you guys remember in uh 2020 when we started collecting um the origins here we got uh he-man and skeletor when we started collecting these guys were $14.99 a piece i don't know if you guys remember and um now we're in now we are in 2022 guys for a single card of figure we're paying $18.99 a piece $18.99 and for a deluxe figure on the origins we're paying $23.99 right I believe so when before a deluxe figure was 20 bucks so I don't and that was before they did the Eternia playset so I, I don't think like after even if we funded that playset our figures are going to go up so drastically. I mean, they're going to go up if inflation goes up. That's what me and my buddies were thinking. I'm like, it's like everything else. I mean, our origins have gone up little by little um, as inflation has gone up in prices. But, um, but yeah, guys, I mean, like I told my friends too, I mean, if these origins figures go up, to twenty two ninety nine a piece, probably by the end of twenty twenty three. I told him hopefully we already went through all the figures that we needed, and uh, we don't really need to worry about you know buying everything that comes out. So, or I'm gonna and I or I even told him well I'm gonna do what I what I do with all my collections, everything I collect. And it, and, it is, and it is kind of like a pick and choose game if, if that happens, guys. If that happens, um, I mean, as it is right now, it's kind of expensive. And if it goes up to, say, $22.99 a figure, that's kind of a hefty price for a 5.5 figure. It's almost catching up to the Marvel Legends. But we'll see, right? Yeah, guys, I mean, like... Like I said, I mean, if that were to happen, I mean, I've collected so many toy lines, guys, and I still do. Collect the DC Universe, Marvel Legends, Marvel Icons. Those are the 12-inch figures from Marvel Legends. Um, DC Universe Classics, Hot Toys, DC Collectibles, as you see here. NECA figures. I mean, you name it. I've, I've collected everything and um why why have i done that well sometimes i go where my my budget takes me and that's how i've been collecting all these years and that's why it's been really fun guys because it's a very uh very diverse collection that i have and it's uh and i like it a lot but um hopefully what i, I mean what i'm hoping for origins like i've told you guys in several of my videos i want to collect everything that's coming out in origins but um if they're gonna be um pumping up these prices i mean it's gonna be kind of hard to to keep up with a lot of stuff with masterverse origins that's like my main stuff that i'm collecting right now and um it is kind of difficult but I mean, if they force us to do that, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to uh, pick and choose when a wave comes out. You know, a wave comes out in, in fours. So, I mean, if they come out with these prices, we're probably going to have to pick and choose what what is it that we want from that wave. And that's what I don't want, guys. I don't want that to happen. But if it does, I mean, what are we going to do? 
And um, talking about waves, um, I don't know if you guys seen in Big Bad Toy Store that the availability on the Origins line right now. I mean, they they, they uh, sent me an uh, an email from Big Bad, and they told me that uh, my my loot was ready, and on that pile of loot was a uh, Snake Armor He-Man, Rattler, um, Boltman, and Cobra Khan. So that means we're probably gonna get those pretty quick because I already paid for them, so they're gonna be shipped pretty soon. Um, I don't know if you guys um, already knew that, or, or I'm, I'm just um, behind on my <laughs> on the news. So yeah, guys, um, just wanted to, for, for you guys to see all these beauties that I have here, and um, I've been collecting for a while, guys. That's why you see these Arkham Asylum figures from the game, and um, they really look good with the uh, with the McFarlane figures that McFarlane is uh, is releasing, and um, they look really, really good. I really love it, guys. And these wrestlers, um, that's it. I already got my, you can see my Undertaker and my um, Ultimate Warrior, and that that completes my wrestling, my wrestling, my wrestling line. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys. I mean, like I said, it's been really, really fun collecting these uh, these Origins and these Masterverse too. But my um, my uh, <clears throat> strongest line for me in the masters is my origins um on the masterverse i'm just collecting what i really really like and but my origins i do want to collect everything that's coming out everything 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 but <sighs> let's just see what happens in 2023 with uh with the prices and uh all the exclusives that are gonna probably be coming out in 2023 and uh but it's gonna be tough to to get everything guys but we're gonna have to try and uh let's see what happens and because i i do want to keep collecting and um having fun collecting toys and like i said i'm not gonna stress out about about prices and um the only thing i could do is uh really pick and choose of whatever i want now if, if that's the case guys but Nonetheless, I'm gonna have fun, and um, this 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 hobby is a uh, is a really fun thing to do, guys. I've been doing it for years, and it's just been awesome, really, really awesome, guys. I mean, this Origins line, as you can see, has been something really different for me. <laughs> it's crazy all this stuff that, that I have now in the in the Origins line. I'm just too uh, like. Like like they say, I'm just too deep in the in the line to um to uh quit and not collect this line, guys. But we'll see. We'll see. Just a lot of lot of lot of nice goodies that Mattel is uh releasing, revealing, and um really, really awesome stuff, guys. I really love it, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Um a lot of uh, comments and um, from on the channel. Um, I mean, a lot of people are do think more or less um, the same. We um, really have to see what we want, what what what, what our pockets could afford, and um, and we go from there. As long as we're happy collecting and what we're getting, I think that's all that counts. And um, if you really really want something on our collection well we're gonna have to save that money and, and include it especially if that figure or vehicle whatever has been released already and we're we are going to pay the price of an ebay price so so yeah guys i mean just a lot a lot of goodies guys a lot a lot of goodies that these uh companies are are releasing revealing and um like I've said in my other videos, um, we have all these wonderful toys. We just need more money. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I don't know about uh, you guys. Um, if you guys uh, um, already um, are waiting for those uh, for those origins that uh, BBT has, um, has already available. Um, like I said, it was a Snake Armor He-Man, uh, Cobra Khan. 
and uh, Rat Lore and Boltman. Yeah, I already paid them, so I'm thinking they're gonna ship them out pretty soon. And so you guys, so we can put them in the diorama and show them to you guys. Yeah, guys. I mean, this is a uh, like a lot of talk going on with uh, with toys right now with Origins and especially with Origins right now and the Masterverse. Um, not, I don't know about McFarlane. I hope McFarlane keeps up his, his good prices. And, uh, so we could keep buying our favorite pieces from that line too. So, um, so yeah, guys, like I said, the aftermath of, uh, <laughs> the Eternia playset is, is a very questionable one. And, uh, let's see what happens in 2023 guys. Um, yeah, guys, so we could be collecting these uh, wonderful, wonderful figures. Really, really awesome stuff we're, we're, uh, we're getting in our collections. And um, really awesome, guys. And I want to tell you guys something. We need, for the Origins line, really, really bad, a cartoon series, guys. We need a cartoon series so we can have, like, a backbone for our, for our Origins line. We need that because we need a, more kids involved. There's more kids involved. There's more, more sales, and, and this will make this line more, more. Um, how can I say? Uh, stronger, guys, for more sales. That's what that's what I'm thinking. But uh, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of hard if we don't have that that uh, that backbone, um, like a cartoon series. I don't know what you guys think about that because we really, really need one. Oh guys, this uh really, really, I really want to do. I want to do this video and uh, see what you guys think, guys. This is just really awesome stuff that 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 uh that we're getting. I'm really excited about the new stuff for Origins and Masterverse. So yeah, guys, um, just gonna show you guys right here the the little display I made for you guys for this video, and um, so you guys could check out the figures and um. So yeah, guys, uh, here we go. It's probably a minute or two right here so you guys could check them out. All right, here we go, guys. All right, guys.
All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to share this little video with you guys and see what you guys think about what's going on right now with the toy industry. And uh, hope the prices don't inflate for us that much. And um, yeah, guys. Uh, this is Little Powerhouse 102. And I'm out.